Can someone with zero experience bike over 1,000 miles across Europe? To test this theory, we'll bring in our usual test dummy. Howdy folks, Eric here. My goal is to make it from Friedrichshaven, Denmark, all the way down to Munich, Germany for Oktoberfest, the biggest party in the world. So I borrowed an old mountain bike from my cousin in my parents' hometown of Hovde, Sweden, and began my training. This is easily the most difficult yet rewarding adventure of my life. So I hope you enjoy the ride. In the last video, I followed the Luna Heide Radweg through Mulhausen and Erfurt. In today's video, I explore the Thuringer Wald UNESCO Heritage Site before arriving in Nuremberg and taking a few days rest in the historic city. Enjoy! Alrighty folks, it's another day in Germany. Partly cloudy, much milder than the previous week has been. Only about 70 right now, even in the sun. Super nice for biking, I must say. I've done about eight kilometers out of Erfurt, which is about there. And I'm coming along on this relatively nice cycleway. I think actually it's a farm road, but nonetheless, paved, love that. We're gonna be going uphill quite a lot today. I think over 800 meters, so I'm really just gonna grind it out. I just passed over the bridge over the highway there, and you can see this is the general direction we're going today. We're finally seeing some real elevation there. Not excited for that, but I'm intrigued to get gorgeous views and see if I can stand up to the difficulty level. But first we're heading into Rockhausen here. I'm gonna do a little breakfast there probably, and then we'll be on our way. Just had a nice second breakfast here at this gazebo overlooking the route. I'm gonna be going in this way and then up towards that second layer, I believe, by the end of the day here. Should be right around 800 meters in elevation, which is what, like 2,400 feet or so? Might as well get to it. Okay, just passed through the very small town of Niederwilling. Now I came up this dirt path here and I got a bit of a downhill, but you can see I'm skirting around this first hill and then we have to make our way up to the top of that second one by the end of today. I've done 32 kilometers and we have another 25 to go. So I'm gonna keep strong and then think about lunch in a bit. Okay, only 13 kilometers to go, still plenty of uphill, but I just passed under here, you can see the uh, high speed train, which is really raised up here in this valley, which tells you one thing, we're gonna be going up some more. All right, cycleways hanging in there. We're going up, up, up. You can see down below here, we are almost at the top of this pass right up here, and then we'll be coming down a bit into the campsite. <sighs> My legs are screaming. Made it to the campsite. There was a grocery store nearby, so I hit it big. Gonna enjoy and fill up for another big day tomorrow. Another nice day, pretty chilly again here, but I've got a lot of uphill that's pounding me, so. Staying really hot and sweaty. I gotta keep going up this way for maybe another 100 meters or so, and then there will be a pass, and I'll get a downhill again, but whew, only five kilometers in and I'm beat. I got through the worst of it. Had to walk my bike quite a ways, but not an issue. We've almost reached the top. It's gone from like 12% grade to three or four, so I can hop on the bike, no trouble. You can see here at higher elevation in Germany, southern Germany, there's quite a bit of pine trees again. Really gorgeous. I love a good pine forest. Cool, cool breeze today. Let's keep at it. Whew. We made it to the top. A bit of a view to the south there. That is the general direction we'll be heading. Maybe a little more this way, but we're in the Thuringer Wald area or near to it at least. You can see there's quite a bit of elevation there. Might have to go up and over that today. We will see. I've come up that logging road here. You can see there's an operation going on. Here, there's actually a paved road, a bit of a crossroads, lots of different directions there. I'm actually gonna get to take Pavement back down, baby. Super excited for that. You can see we came up off the map would be Grossbeckenbacher or whatever. Came down Altenfeld through, I believe we are here. 
and then we're gonna continue further south. But the majority of the hills end like right here, and then it becomes lower elevation as you make your way down towards Nuremberg. So this is like the second highest point that I'll be at today, I believe. And it will be the second highest point of the entire trip as well. So, last tough day today. Looking forward to being done with it, but the nature here is absolutely gorgeous. We're actually following along the Rheinsteig for quite a while now, which is super cool. Here we are, the center point. We are heading this way. All right, you saw we passed through Masserberg, or Masserberg. Another beautiful Rheinsteig sign here. I really like the way they designed this, just in the trees properly. We continue this way, just a tiny bit more uphill, and then it's freaking down for ages. Super stoked about that. Ready to get some food in me soon too. Woo. This area is absolutely beautiful, by the way. I love it. I've been coming steep downhill now for a couple kilometers. Really enjoying it. It's nice when you're in the sun. Pretty chilly. A little bit chilly otherwise. More signage here. Nothing too specific, but cute little creek. Wanted to get a little break in. My hand is literally getting tired just from clutching the back brake. Anyhow, really enjoying myself today, especially now that it's downhill. <laughs> Gonna take a quick pause. It's actually super cute. They even put a little water wheel there. Not currently spinning. I guess you'd need more flow. But, love to see that. We just came up from the small town of Sachsenbrunn. This uphill was pretty gnarly. I forgot there was a couple more on the way, but totally fine, made it up. There's a nice marker here for the Rheinsteig. We have only about three, four kilometers into the next town this way. Looks like it's downhill from here, boys. I'm really looking forward to getting some food in my belly. I'm tired. It's like quite chilly out actually. Maybe like 64, cooler with the breeze. So it's hot going uphill, start sweating like crazy, but then I actually get cold when I'm not doing anything, going back downhill. But nonetheless, forward we go. got a mouthful on this one. I'm not even gonna try, but I'll show you. You can see we've met up with the rail tunnel again, crossing underneath it. Just gigantic. The lake itself is actually behind these trees here. You can see a little bit there, but it's a big one. I think I have about 15 kilometers into Coburg now. Basically all downhill. I've been enjoying myself since my lunch. It was a big boy lunch. Let's keep going. There you can see the water. I believe it's a reservoir, so they use it for drinking water, but that might be entirely wrong. Quite buggy. Just turned the corner. And we're definitely in downtown. Shouldn't be far to the hotel now. All right, 
it's morning now. Coburg is lovely. I'm right down here in the square. Cute little hotel. More like an Airbnb, but nonetheless, I'm all packed up. About to hit the road again. 11.3 kilometers in. Feeling good. Looks like it's mostly a cycleway day today, which is lovely. And it's like pre predominantly downhill as well, which is also great. I was just peeping this here, and you can see all of these trees that have been planted, sort of donated by rel different people in the community, which is nice. It's providing me shade here today, so thank you to all of them. Lovely day today in Bavaria. The cheese and ham baguette, or croissant, always top notch. And then they have like the hot dog in a bun deal, sometimes with ketchup. Thai salad, quick smoothie. Nice lunch today. Pretty nice view today. <laughs> Only 7.50. Oh my gosh, I'm dying. This cat just showed up and he claimed a little shade spot here under my tent. Super friendly. Don't know whose he is, but he can hang with me as long as he wants. <laughs> oh, wow. Also, look at my tan. Look at that. But also this cat. <laughs> just lounging. Oh, what's that? <laughs> I'm a happy boy. She's decided this is a good spot and gone full lay. I have a new friend today. I love that. <laughs> Beautiful sunrise view this morning. As you saw, I had some brekkie at the gas station just around the corner here. I have done about nine kilometers of 60 today. This was Breiten Gusbach, I believe. Cute little town. Heading past Bamberg today, further south, on the route to Nuremberg. Real nice, warm, sunny day again. Gonna be sweating, but let's get to it. Alright, got a nice big cycleway here, it's rolling well. We are following the Regnitz River here for quite a while. Just made it through Bamberg. Gonna be following this canal here for a long while. Here it is, we're crossing the bridge. Very wide channel. Such a beautiful day. the river just behind me here making a quick lunch as you can see we're still following the regnets it's gotten even more and more glorious just following on this gravel path here right along it this is just a beautiful beautiful day super stoked there's like no traffic to deal with just people on bikes Lots of Guten Morgens and Hallos. Ah, oh, so happy. Right by the water.
as you can see, much darker in the sky coming into the early afternoon here. I had a really nice morning by the lake there at the campsite. I can't check in in Nuremberg until 3, so I waited a bit before I left. It's about 2 o'clock now, so I'm going to grab lunch on my way in. Only have uh, 8 more kilometers. I'm here at BK, just had a nice meal. I have 6 kilometers into Nuremberg Hostel. It's raining quite a lot, just barely underneath this umbrella. Probably just going to go for it. I made it into Nuremberg, just took a fresh shower. Living the dorm life again. Only about 30 bucks a night. Not too bad. It's right in the city. The head bus stop is right there. Second floor here. Not bad at all. Just drying all my stuff off. I ended up going about 10 kilometers in the rain. Not a big problem. Had my rain gear. It went well. I think I'm going to visit the castle here in the next few days. And we'll see what else I get up to. Stay tuned. Nuremberg is so rich with history, and the region of Bavaria has such a unique charm. I met many lovely people at the A&O Hostel here in town. In the next video, I finally make it to Munich, enjoy the madness of Oktoberfest, and decide to continue my journey west to Salzburg. If you are enjoying the content, please subscribe down below. Thanks for watching.